Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Herbal Species Identification Using Deep Learning. Introduction Herbal Species Identification is a cutting-edge project aimed at revolutionizing the field of botany and herbalism. By harnessing the power of deep learning algorithms, this project seeks to automate and streamline the process of identifying various species of plants and herbs. Accurate identification of herbal species is crucial for numerous applications, including medicine, agriculture, and conservation. However, traditional methods of identification can be time-consuming, labor-intensive, and prone to errors. So by employing deep learning techniques, this project aims to overcome these limitations and provide a more efficient and reliable solution for species identification. So the beneficiaries of this project are diverse and widespread. Herbalists, botanists, researchers, farmers, and conservationists stand to benefit from the enhanced accuracy and efficiency of species identification enabled by deep learning technology. Additionally, consumers of herbal products can have increased confidence in the authenticity and quality of the products they use. And deep learning plays a pivotal role in this project by leveraging its ability to process vast amounts of data and extract intricate patterns and features. Through the use of convolutional neural networks and other deep learning architectures, the system can learn to recognize key characteristics and nuances unique to each herbal species, enabling accurate and reliable identification even from images with varying qualities and backgrounds. By combining the power of deep learning with botanical expertise, this project aims to revolutionize herbal species identification for the benefit of various stakeholders. Objective of the project. So as I mentioned earlier, the objective involves creating and deploying deep learning models, specifically MobileNet, MobileNet V2, CNN, and Exception, which are tailored for image classification tasks. These models will be trained using a dataset containing images of different herbal species such as aloe vera, hibiscus, jasmine, lemon, mango, pepper, etc. Once the models are trained, they will be evaluated and compared based on the performance metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. This comparison aims to identify the model that achieves the highest accuracy and reliability in classifying the various herbal species across the 20 different classes. And by selecting the most effective deep learning model, the project aims to revolutionize the field of botany and herbalism. The implementation of an accurate and efficient automated solution for herbal species identification will benefit various sectors such as medicine, agriculture and conservation. This advancement will lead to improved quality assurance in herbal products, better crop management practices, and enhanced biodiversity conservation efforts. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements Software needed is Anaconda Primary language used is Python Front-end framework used is Flask Back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook Database used is SQL Lite 3 and front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are Operating system of Windows Processor of i5 and above RAM of 8 GB and above and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work. So the first step is import and required packages. In this step, we import essential Python libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, sklearn, and TensorFlow Keras. These libraries provide functionalities for data manipulation, visualization, machine learning, and deep learning, which are essential for building and training models in a herbal species identification project. The second step is exploring the dataset. Here, we define the configuration of our dataset, including paths to the training and testing data. We then use TensorFlow's image data generator to pre-process and generate batches of images from the dataset. These batches are used for training and validation during model development. The data is organized into classes based on the different types of herbs, allowing for categorical classification. The third step is visualization. This step involves visualizing a sample of the training images along with their corresponding labels. We use Matplotlib to display a set number of sample images, each labeled with its corresponding class name. 
The visualization helps us understand the data set's characteristics and ensures that the data is correctly loaded and pre-processed for model training. The next step is training and building the model. Here, we train and build deep learning models, including MobileNet, MobileNet V2, CNN, and Exception, using the pre-processed image data. These models are designed to learn features and patterns from the images to classify them into different herb types. The next step is performance comparison. After training the models, we evaluate their performance using metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. These metrics quantify the model's ability to correctly classify herbs and provide insights into their effectiveness. By comparing the performance of different models, we can identify the most suitable one for our herbal species identification task. And to make a herbal species identification system accessible to users, we develop a front-end using Flask with SQLite. This web application allows users to input images of herbs they want to identify. And the uploaded images are pre-processed by the trained models and the results, including the classification of herb types such as hibiscus, jasmine, spinach, aloe vera, ginger, etc. are displayed to the users. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first algorithm built is MobileNet. MobileNet is a lightweight deep learning architecture optimized for mobile and embedded devices, renowned for its efficiency and accuracy in image classification tasks. It employs depth-wise separable convolutions to reduce computational complexity while preserving performance. This makes MobileNet suitable for our herbal species identification project as it allows for efficient inference on resource-constrained platforms like mobile devices without compromising on classification accuracy or reliability. The next algorithm built is MobileNet V2. So MobileNet V2 improves upon the original MobileNet architecture by introducing inverted residual blocks and linear bottlenecks which enhance model efficiency and performance. Unlike the original MobileNet, MobileNet V2 employs a wider range of hyperparameters and architectural modifications to achieve higher accuracy while maintaining low computational costs. Additionally, MobileNet V2 introduces the concept of shortcut connections to facilitate information flow across network layers further improving feature representation and classification capabilities compared to its predecessors. The next one is CNN, that is Convolutional Neural Networks. So CNNs are deep learning algorithms designed for image classification tasks. They consist of multiple layers, including convolutional pooling and fully connected layers. CNNs utilize convolutional operations to extract features from input images, followed by pooling layers to reduce dimensionality. This hierarchical feature extraction enables CNNs to learn complex patterns and relationships within images, making them suitable for our herbal species identification projects image classification requirements. The next algorithm built is Exception. Exception is an advanced deep learning architecture based on the concept of depth-wise separable convolutions, aiming to enhance model efficiency and performance. It divides convolutional filters into depth-wise and point-wise convolutions, allowing for more efficient feature extraction. In this herbal species identification project, Exception's complex architecture enables effective learning of intricate patterns and features from herbal images, leading to improved accuracy and robustness in classification tasks. Now we'll see the comparison graphs. So this is the bar graph comparing accuracy scores of different algorithms. In this graph on x-axis, I have algorithm names and on y-axis, I have accuracy scores. Accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions, showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. This is precision scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis, I have algorithm names and on y-axis, I have precision scores. Precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions, indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct. This is recall scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis, I have algorithm names and on y-axis, I have recall scores. Recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances, showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted. 
and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have algorithm names and on y axis i have f1 scores f1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for classifications and we can see cnn model is doing well execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is data set folder in which i have 20 different classes images on which we'll train the models this is models folder in which i have model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models this is static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code in python that handle server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages this is notebook jupyter source file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science and this is signup.db file this file is the database file used to store user information so now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer i'm copying it open anaconda prompt use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button so this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py i'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file The Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host, and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a register link. Click on it. If you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. As I already have an account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username and password, and click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the classification page. So now we have to upload any leaf image here, and the application will classify the type of species from the image. Click on Choose File button. So from Sample Images folder, I'm selecting this image and click on Open. The image is loaded. Now click on Upload button. So here we can see the predicted plant species that is amla, and the application has also displayed the nutrients available in the classified plant, and it has also displayed uses. telling us for which disease cure this species can be used we'll try again click on home link click on choose file button so this time i'm selecting this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so here we can see plant information not available for this prediction click on home link we'll try again click on choose file button so this time i'm uploading this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so here we can see the predicted plant species that is coffee and we can see the available nutritions and the uses now click on log out so the conclusion here is 
the project successfully demonstrates the effectiveness of deep learning techniques in automating and enhancing the process of herbal species identification marking a significant advancement in the field of botany and herbalism through the implementation of deep learning models such as mobilenet mobilenet v2 cnn and exception the project achieves improved accuracy and efficiency in classifying various herb types notably Convolutional neural networks emerges as the top performer, surpassing other architectures in accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score metrics. The comprehensive evaluation and comparison of these models enable the selection of the most suitable architecture, ensuring the deployment of a robust and reliable solution for herbal species identification across diverse applications. By providing an intuitive front-end interface and real-time classification results, the project empowers users, including herbalists, botanists, farmers, and consumers, to make informed decisions and contribute to areas such as medicine, agriculture, and conservation. Overall, the project's success in revolutionizing herbal species identification through deep learning signifies a significant step forward in leveraging technology for the benefit of society, fostering innovation and advancing our understanding of the natural world thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos please visit true projects youtube channel and subscribe